Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Chinese dish. This one is a Chinese inspired dish. I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of Kung Pao. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be about 30 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Remember you will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. To marinate the chicken, place the chicken in a large bowl and season it with salt and pepper to taste. Make sure every single piece is well seasoned, then add in 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Stir together until combined. Then add in half a teaspoon of sesame oil and a quarter of a teaspoon of chili oil. Toss again and then let the chicken marinate in this for at least 15 minutes in the refrigerator. Now in a small bowl combine 2 tablespoons of soy sauce with 1.5 tablespoons of cherry and also add in 2 tablespoons of water. Then add in the sugar and the cornstarch. Stir together until the sugar and the cornstarch are well dissolved and after that also add in half a teaspoon of sesame oil and a quarter of a teaspoon of chili oil. Stir together again and then set this aside until you're ready to use it. Now in a wok on high heat, heat up one tablespoon of vegetable oil and a teaspoon of sesame oil. You want the oil to be really hot before you start cooking your ingredients, so just let it heat up really well. Once the oil is nice and hot, now add in the chicken. Make sure the chicken is well spread into a single layer and then cook it for one minute without stirring it. You want the chicken to get nice and brown. So after a minute or so, toss the chicken around and continue to cook it for another two more minutes or until the chicken is no longer pink on the outside. Don't worry if the chicken is not completely cooked yet because it will finish cooking later. So once the chicken has some color, just remove it from the wok and set it aside for a minute. Now in the same wok, we're going to heat up one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil and once the oil is nice and hot, now cook the onion and stir fry it for one minute, just to soften it a little bit. After a minute or so, add in the bell peppers and stir fry them for two more minutes. I like my vegetables to have some crunch, but if you prefer them to be softer, feel free to cook them uh, for about three or four more minutes. After 2 minutes or so, the vegetables have the consistency and the texture that I like. So now I'm going to add in the peanuts and I'm going to stir fry everything together for 30 seconds. Just so the peanuts will start releasing some of the oil in them. Then push everything to the sides of the wok leaving an empty space right in the middle of the wok and then right in the center we're going to add in the garlic and the minced ginger. Stir together again for 30 more seconds just until the garlic and the ginger become aromatic then add in the dry chiles, stir together and then after that we're going to add in the chicken back into the wok. Now add in the soy sauce mixture and 2 tablespoons of hoisin sauce, stir all together for 2 more minutes or until the chicken is well heated through and well cooked. Taste the flavor, add salt and pepper if needed and if the sauce has thickened too much, feel free to thin it out with a little bit of water, with about 2 tablespoons of water. Mine is perfect, I don't want it to be too saucy, but if you prefer feel free to add 2 tablespoons of water or 2 tablespoons of uh, chicken broth or 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. And like I said, we're just going to continue to stir fry this until the chicken is completely cooked. 
And once the chicken is cooked, the compound is done, now it's ready to serve. And I'm just going to serve it with white rice and that's it. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!